Happy New Year everyone! Welcome to my channel, welcome to the new year. Welcome, welcome. Do you have any resolutions for this year? Did you go all new year, new me? I didn't. Because quite frankly, unless I do anything differently than I did last year, by December 31st, 2018, nothing will be different. It will be the exact same year I just had. I never had resolutions ever since I was in school. You know, kids always had, you know, their list. What they're gonna have this year. I never made one. If I needed to change something, it could be in the middle of the year and I take steps towards that and change it. For example, on January 1st of last year, 2017, I didn't have a resolution to travel down to Miami for one month with my kids. I had that resolution in November of 2016 and then made it happen in July. So first, I wanted it. So that, that was my goal, to go to Miami. And then I visualized it. So how would it be for me to be in Miami? What will I be doing with my kids? and my mom and all my family that haven't seen in seven years at that point basically my mindset was not how am I gonna get there but what am I gonna do when I'm there it had already happened even if no ticket had been bought yet and then what I take the necessary steps so I save my money money for tickets and spending money because um hello and then I had to make a list what exactly do I need to travel with three kids by myself to go to a 12 plus hour trip quite frankly it all turned out great but it all started with how bad did I want to be in Miami how deep was my resolution to be there so I intentionally did every step so that I could make it happen and it happened. And like I say, when I have a goal, first I think of the big picture. What is the main goal I wanna get to? And then I visualize it, I put intentions on it. What is it gonna look like? What is it gonna feel like to attain that particular goal? And then I break it down into steps and put disciplines attached to them because trust me, you need disciplines. You know how many things that came in my way of saving for that trip? So what are some of your resolutions? What would you like to accomplish? Comes December 31st, 2018. When you look back, what do you want to feel proud of? Something that you know you accomplished, you wanted it, you took steps toward it, and you made it happen. For me, the main thing is I wanna do more of what I enjoy. Believe it or not, I've been changing that these past few years, but I really got caught up in what was expected of me. Whether or not I enjoyed it. So this year, I wanna really look at myself and see what do I enjoy doing personally and do more of that I will start and end my day with a grateful mind think about what I'm grateful for and not just thank you for being alive which is really important think about it how many people thought that they would see January 1st 2018 and haven't God bless their souls but really being grateful for the little things that happen to you on a daily basis what is it that day that happened that made me grateful it really takes discipline but go for it you can do it, you got this. And then the last thing is talk to someone about your goals. Tell them what you wanna do. You know how important, how powerful accountability is. When you tell everybody around that this is what you wanna do, this is what you're going to do. Now, kind of in the back of your mind that you have to do it, it pushes you more. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a great, awesome holiday. We did, I mean, it was super cold compared to other years. And yes, East Coast people, I do know you've had it way worse than we did. I am sorry to hear that for you. But from what we used to here in this side of Canada, yeah, it was quite cold. But we still enjoy it. We made the best out of it. We made some pretty cool stuff. So I hope you were able to do the same and enjoy the time off if you had time off or time with your loved ones. I uh, will see you very soon. So like this video, leave me some comments if you liked it. Please tell me about your results. Solutions. I would love to hear them. Subscribe to the family if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And let's keep the conversation going. I will see you later. Bye. Bye.